Women in STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, now make up 27% of the male-dominated field. But a new study shows women are twice as likely to leave the field. Sonica Bargo shows us the solutions that are in the works. I was not encouraged to go to college, let alone a STEM field. But Mechanicsburg graduate Julie Snyder wanted to study computer science. My father worked for IBM for 35 years. So she went for it and succeeded, but not a lot of women worked in her field at the time. That ability to have those mentors would have had me on my journey to success a lot faster. Snyder decided to help the next generation as a mentor for STEM Up Network at Harrisburg University. Those relationships sometimes go on for years. Executive Director Billy Mattis says this is one way STEM Up tries to keep women in the field. In the first 10 to 12 years of their career in STEM. They go to other professions. Mattis says lack of opportunities, lower pay, and isolation are all reasons women leave. But STEM Up's focus on mentorship and developing leadership skills is paying off. We have had enough women in our organization go through that now see themselves as leaders, have stepped up, and are changing the leadership landscape. The door is cracked but it needs to be widened. OBGYN Dr. Sheree Livingston is fighting a similar battle. We're seeing so many potholes of where we're losing students. Trying to bring more women of color into medicine. I did not see many people in the sciences that look like me. Data from the Census and the Association of American Medical Colleges shows less than 3% of physicians are black women. The same is true for Hispanic women. This is going to be an uphill battle, but it is not insurmountable. Livingston works with high school students all the way through their journey, preparing students early, connecting them with mentors, and trying to build support systems. Where they go to practice, are they supported? She says we need more doctors of color. Looking like the community that they're serving is important. Overall, it helps to improve outcomes. It's really important to be able to give back and share the story. Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.